Hello everyone, it's Monomorphic here again. I'm gonna attempt to map out the uh, E-field inside the cavity using this probe that I built out of a uh, spectrum analyzer and then semi-rigid uh, coax with a little uh, tiny stub at the end. So we're gonna um, just make sure that we're in resonance here. I've been playing around with it already a little bit. I'm going to show you how difficult this is. Okay, so there we are. Uh, resonance for this cavity, which is a flat end cavity, is uh, 2.452 gigahertz, um, and that's mode TE013. Now we're going to try and map out mode TE013 and you have to just imagine that as sort of three donuts, uh, a larger donut, middle-sized donut, and a smaller donut at the small end. And then hopefully we'll be able to detect that uh, on the spectrum analyzer here. Okay, let's see. Let's just make sure we're... The temperature in the room is changing, so resonance moves pretty fast. I might have to... Uh, Occasionally adjust that. Okay, there we go. So I had to dr drill two holes. The inside the the first the first hole in the middle, you can't get access to the first lobe without bending this coax. So I I uh, drilled a second hole um, so I can go straight through all of the lobes. Now um, one thing to note. Yeah, let me get back into resonance here. It's moving pretty fast. The, I have the uh, door outside open, so it's pretty hot in here now. Okay, so we're going to go straight down through uh, the lobes, or we're going to attempt to. Now, you're going to at least you're going to notice, you know, resonance is going to get kind of wonky over here. The the uh, the power detector is going to get kind of wonky, and uh, you'll notice some uh, as we travel up through the three lobes. We'll start to get a signal on the on the spectrum analyzer and one thing is it's very difficult to uh, hold this thing in the right location uh, or or perfectly level or you know perpendicular let's see i think that this is about the right angle here to go straight in now let's pull out to the very tip okay so let's see if we can through that first lobe right there and then we go down a little and then the second lobe and then down and then the third lobe right there which is stronger strongest lobe and then we pull back out like that you'll notice that as I insert the, the probe, uh, it really drastically affects the, uh, the resonance of the cavity. Let's try going, let's get ourselves back into resonance here. All right, so there we are. Now, as I go in through the middle, there shouldn't be a whole lot going on. I should get a not much signal because, uh, of course, it's very hard to keep it. Because I go all the way in, I can find, I mean, it's, it's, it's very difficult to keep it right in the center. I don't even know if I'm in the center right now. But if I go all the way in, and I go to the left, I might be able to pick up that, that lobe, that third lobe, that strongest third lobe, and now middle, nothing, and then over, and there's that other, that same lobe, middle, there, and now up, up into that lobe again, right there, 
and back to the middle and down to the lobe and back to the middle and out. So, I mean, to me, that appears to be TE013. Now, I might want to drill holes here, here, and here in order to make absolutely sure, but I've noticed that each time I drill a hole, uh, the, Q, uh, the Q factor goes down for the cavity. It may be because there are little bits inside that need to be cleaned out, or it could be these holes, I'm not sure. So um, that's sort of my first attempt at mapping out the inside of the cavity using a, uh, an E-field probe. Let me know what you guys think.